The video is striking. With 140 people on board, an Air Canada flight nearly lands into four other jets on the ground, coming within meters of a crash. The plane lined up to land on a taxiway rather than the adjacent runway. A huge 787 on the ground, switching his bright lights on, perhaps to avert a disaster. Where's this guy going? He's on the taxiway. 59-1, Air Canada flew directly over us. Yeah, I saw that guy. The latest investigative report provides a wealth of info, including on pilot fatigue. And right now, Canada has amongst the worst working uh, and crew rest times in the entire world. Indeed, Canada's pilots are often required to be alert for more than 13 hours. Elsewhere, the rules are very different. We couldn't do uh, some of the flying that you do in Africa, in China, in, in Latin America, in Asia, uh, or in, in Europe. With the crew in question, the experienced captain flew to New York and back the night before the incident, telling investigators that threw off his sleep cycle a bit. He fell asleep between 2 and 3 in the morning. His kids woke him up around 7.45. Air Canada then assigned him to a 9.25 p.m. flight. Once airborne, he started feeling fatigued about midpoint on the incident flight. But fatigue isn't the only issue. Construction at the San Francisco airport made the airport look different at night. As an Air Canada simulation after the incident shows, the pilots also suspected something was off. And uh, so I just want to confirm this uh, Air Canada 759. Uh, we see some lights on the uh, runway there. Across the runway, can you confirm a clear land? The Delta flight landing right before them heard the calls and told investigators, I assumed he had similar confusion to ours, that planes on the ground had their lights off, which helped create this misconception that a taxiway was actually a runway. There's a lot riding on this investigation. Had the landing continued for a second more, five planes full of passengers could have been left in flames. David Common, CBC News, Toronto. As David mentioned, airline industry experts say Canada's limits on how long pilots can fly in a day are much looser than those in many other countries. But the Trudeau government is looking to change that. Tonight, Transport Minister Mark Garneau's office told CBC News that new rules are coming later this year. Airlines will then have 12 months to comply. Right now, Canadian pilots can fly for up to 14 hours under proposed changes, pilots would have to stop work after 9 to 13 hours, depending on time of day, longer hours during the day, shorter at night, to take account of a pilot's internal body clock. That is already the case in the United States and Europe.